Hey, how you doing? Andrew here. Today I would like to teach you how to find the mass percents of sodium and fluorine in sodium fluoride. Very simple process. First we're going to find the mass, then we're going to find those percents. Take a look at this table to help us organize our thoughts. Bam! So the first step is to write the elements we see in the compound. So we've got sodium, Na, and we got fluorine. Next is then to identify the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. Now if you don't see a subscript, just put a 1, because that's what it is assumed to be. So we got 1 sodium, 1 fluorine. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each element. These masses are always found on the periodic table, so let's take a look. Sodium's mass is 22.99, fluorine is 19. So that's what we're going to write down. 22.99, make that a little neater for uh, sodium, and then uh, fluorine was 19. What is going on? Eh. That's what happens when you do videos early. Anyway, uh, mass of the element, we're simply going to multiply this uh, row on across, so that's going to be 22.99 units of mass for sodium, total mass, and then for fluorine, it's fairly simple, right? Hope the math is like this on your test. And then here we go, 41.99 units of mass in total. All you simply do is add this column up, and there you have it, right? That's the total mass of the compound. That was the first step. Now to find these percentages, it's going to be easy peasy. I'm going to add a column to the table to help us out. Bam! So to find the mass percent of sodium, we're going to take the total mass of that sodium, 22.99. We're going to divide it by then the total mass of the entire compound. This is a simple percentage calculation. Multiply it by 100. Part over whole times 100. Don't worry about the units. They're going to cancel. All right? So it doesn't matter if you use gram per molar or AMU. So when we do this math out, it becomes 54.75%, and that is the percent of sodium in sodium fluoride. Same process for fluorine now. So we take 19, the total mass. Forget about the zeros. It's not going to affect your calculation, though it might affect those sig figs. Be careful depending upon how particular your teacher or professor is. And when we do this particular calculation on out, it would be 45.25%, and that would be then the percentage of fluorine in sodium fluoride. And there you go. If you were to add these all together, it should be 100. And that's what I want for you on your next test. Check out our channel. We've got thousands and thousands of videos dedicated just to help you do that. Right? There's no secret to success. Practice, hard work, and determination. You'll get there, I promise. And we'd love to help. Take a look. We'll see you soon.